Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I am at the emergency room of the Aguada Medical Center. Long story, but I had to get my blood drawn. Um, number one, the medical centers in Puerto Rico are empty. <laughs> that by itself it's pretty amazing um, you know you think about going to a, an emergency room in the States and it's like always packed you always have to wait hours and hours before you're seen um, my next-door neighbor who you guys saw in my vlogs is a doctor and I went to his office first and he sent me here to get some blood work drawn I've been having some issues um, but yeah, I'm here and I'm actually gonna wait and they're gonna send, give me my blood work in my hand and I'll leave with it. It's just, I'm so like shocked because in the States, you know, you don't get your blood work the same day. You don't get seen within minutes of walking into a building. So, um, I look crazy, yo. Um, yeah, I had a really long talk with the doctor because he's talking about if it's what we think it is, you're gonna have to be on medication for your whole life and that kind of thing. And he's giving me all the scare tactics of um, what happened. He's like, I know your lifestyle, I know your philosophy of life, and I know you're not gonna wanna get operated or do any kind of medications. Um, but this, this, and this, and that, that, and that. And I'm like, just sitting there like, this is why I don't go to doctors. But um, my husband got pretty worried today. Um, you know it's something exaggerated for me to even be in an emergency room right now. I mean, this place is so sterile white. <laughs> oh, hold on. But I had to step outside because I didn't want the nurses to be like, what the heck is she doing? Um, yeah. I'm at the doctor's office and I have to go back to the doctor with the results of this blood work and then we'll see what happens from there. You guys already know that I'm praying in tongues. I'm just worshiping God because I'm like, okay, Lord, like, is there somebody here you need me to minister to? Like, why am I here? What exactly is going on? Why am I feeling these symptoms that are alive from the pit of hell because I'm healed? Um, I'm just staying in my right mindset and I just think like I think that if I'm not gonna go the natural route which I'm being told is surgeries and medication for your whole life and all that kind of stuff if I'm not gonna go the natural route I'm gonna definitely have to go the spiritual route you can't choose not to do one thing and then be lackadaisical about the other um, the doctor brought up Steve Jobs and he's like you know what happened with Steve Jobs and honestly I didn't and he's like Steve Jobs had pancreatic cancer and it wasn't even that strong he could have gotten you know he could have managed it but he chose to go a natural route he chose to go to India and now he's dead and he's like, you know, I have to tell you this because I know that the kind of person that you are, you're not gonna wanna take medication, you're not gonna wanna do operations, so I have to give you like, you know, really strict, um, I have to be strong with you, I have to be serious with you because you have these beautiful kids, you know, and then he brings my kids into the picture and all this stuff and I'm telling him, you know, I'm young, I take care of myself, I exercise every day, I eat right, I don't smoke, I don't drink, you know, like what's going on? And he's like, well, some of this stuff is just hereditary and you really don't have control over it. <sighs> you know what? I am so grateful right now for the word of God. I'm grateful. I'm not, um, yes, I believe in Ayurvedic medicine and homeopathy and essential oils and all of that. But more than all of that, I believe in Jesus and I believe in the Holy Spirit and I believe in what was done on Calvary for me. And that is what I stand on. And you can't sit there and explain that to a doctor who says he's Christian, 
And then he's telling me, well, what if Buddha heals you? You would have to rethink your whole philosophy. It's not a philosophy. It's my life and it's what I believe and it's what I base my entire existence on, literally. Jesus and the Holy Spirit, God the Father, that is not a religion to me. It's my entire existence of life. And um, I'm going to dig into the Word and dig into worshiping the Father. And He knows. He knows He made this body. He knows exactly what iniquities came with this physical body. And He was bruised for my iniquities. He knows what transgressions I've committed in, in not living the perfect lifestyle. He knows what transgressions I've lived, what sins I've committed that may have brought sickness or disease upon my body. And he was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon him and by his stripes I'm healed. And I could stand here in the front of this medical center and declare that openly and boldly, I'm healed regardless of what those results show, regardless of what tests that I will have to take um, in the coming days will show, I'm healed. I'm healed and I'm delivered and I'm set free and I'm very grateful.